Well, we want to head over to downtown Bristol this morning for a stop at the birthplace of Country Music Museum, a busy place as they get ready to open a new special exhibit nine days away now. It is called I've Endured Women in Old Time Music. And here with more now is Dr. Renee Rogers, head curator at the birthplace of Country Music Museum. Always fun to have you on the show. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So this is sort of new territory for you guys, kind of putting it together in-house. Yeah, we've done some smaller exhibits um, in the past, but this is one that we've been working on for the past two years and almost every aspect of it has been done in-house except the actually actual build of the exhibit. That is exciting. Yes. So at this point it's kind of coming in and you're getting ready to set it up. What's up in life? Um, you know, when you said nine days, it, sort of <laughs> it. it made oh. me excited and a little bit panicked all at the same time, but we have been working on this for such a long time. Um, and it's been a real labor of love for our staff and also for the content team, the external um, women who contributed to the exhibit. And I just were very excited the fact that it's almost here and ready to be shared with the public. That is wonderful. Tell me a little bit about the exhibit. I know it was really important to you to really focus on the powerful women in music. Yeah, so we wanted to talk about um, the women who have been foundational to early country music. Um, also, you know, the connections between old time bluegrass and country, but also to look beyond the sort of foundation to some of the women that are carrying on that music today and s transforming it. And so we spent a lot of time actually talking to contemporary female musicians who shared the inspirational women who had sort of made them want to be in music and who were giving them those aspirational goals to make themselves musicians in that field, but also um, to talk about some of the challenges they might have faced and what they envisioned for the future. So it's been a real chance for us to, to Talk about people that people might have heard of, you know, people like Maybelle Carter, Ola Bell Reed, Lily Mae Ledford of the Coon Creek Girls, but also bring in some of those hidden heroines from both the past and the present who are making a real difference to the genre. Wow, so it really spans a lot of years, it sounds like. It does, and you know, it's, it's talking about you know, the, the facts, you know, what women have done, the achievements mm -hmm. they've made, the, the first woman to record current country music, for instance, Roba Stanley, um, but also the women who are looking to, to what they can do in the field today and to bring new voices and new stories into the mix. And from what I was reading too, the museum itself, very female driven. So yes. this had to be kind of a neat bonding maybe experience for you guys as well. It has, you know, it's been, um, Primarily the content team was mostly women and we had a couple of men um, who were with us. Uh -huh. But we've also been very fortunate that we had some women-led sponsorship for the exhibit with both local businesses and organizations and quite a lot of grant support. We've been so fortunate mm. that people have been inspired by the idea of this exhibit and really given us a lot of um, in-kind and financial support to, to make it a possibility. That's really cool. And I understand it's going to be here for the year and yes. then thinking it might even do some traveling. Yes, this is the first time we've created an exhibit that we're actively trying to get out into the region and share with venues beyond the birthplace of country music. So we'll be mm -hmm. sharing the information about that with venues both locally and maybe even further afield. And at the same time throughout the year, we'll be doing a lot of programming to sort of carry on that story beyond the, the exhibit itself. And we've also created a wonderful, robust website that will be able to be used during mm -hmm. the exhibit to go deeper into the content, but also beyond the exhibit. Ooh, that's cool. Yes. A lot of outreach opportunities as well there. Well, congratulations. Thank Very you. Very exciting stuff happening at the Birthplace of Country Music Museum. And don't forget that is entitled, I've Endured Women in Old Time Music. Nine days away, it opens March 23rd, and you have until the end of the year to check it out right there at the Birthplace of Country Music Museum.